Hey, what's up guys? SkillsWG here and welcome to a Brahala Bow Tips guy we have going on today. It uh, is going to be mostly my... I have been learning bow a little bit lately and feel like I'm pretty good with it. So I'm going to go give you some tips and tricks on what to do with bow. Uh, this one's not like a full guide on the weapon, but it'll be, it'll be still pretty, pretty, pretty good, I guess. I'm hoping it's good at least. Not the best at giving directions um, or instructions, but we're gonna go over it and tell you what I need, what I know, and some things to think about. All right, so we're gonna start off with some of your basic combos that you guys should know. Um, a lot of them come off of downlight, uh, so like downlight neutralite is true combo. Um, and most all of this is at most full health or like health range. Downlight neutralite. There's downlight do jump nair, and that hits almost everywhere but you have to kind of guide yourself if it's far away um, but if you hit in a lot of the places of the downlight you'll still get the true combo a little bit too close as you can see a little bit too close won't hit and a little bit too far away won't hit but pretty much most of the direction will hit like that that's a downlight jump neutral air now this one isn't a true combo and people can dodge out of it but it's a very good combo or string to use if they use their dodge and it's like that. That is actually a true combo. Okay. I They must have buffed that. That is a true combo now. So downlight side air. True combo. Look at that. That was not a true combo. A patch ago. But that is very good. Uh, when they are at higher health. Uh, let's turn this guy up. It's a great off stage type of deal. You can get him off stage like that. And then he's dead. Just like that. With the other moves. High range. It hits him up. So they have a lot of chance to come back. Um, same with Nair. It, it, Nair is a good kill move. But because of the like place it sends them they have a lot of range to come back but with a down with a downlight um side air it puts them in a edge guarding opportunity where you could edge guard them a lot easier if if need be if you're good at that also at a higher percentage you can do a downlight jump recovery for a almost it's a, it's a very pretty good kill option to do um this guy it's isaiah so he's got a lot of defense but downlight jump Recovery is a good kill option um, most all the time. So at very low health, uh, neutral neutralite to jump Nair is a true combo, just like that. Obviously, the higher damage you do put on them, the it will become not a true combo anymore. So you have to be aware of their health. So an, another option that is a true combo that you can do at low health is downlight like that. So the true combo is downlight reverse... Da jump down air as you can see there but it's only if you hit really close to the opponent but it happens as you can see right there let's try to rewind that a little bit so you can guys see it a little easier so i do a down light and then i jump up and do a reverse down air perfect uh but you can also follow up that with a neutral air after that or neutral light after that because that will be one dodge frame which some people will be able to dodge out of some people won't be able to dodge out at all but that's also low health because at higher health the person will be able to dodge the it'll it'll hit them too far away but a pretty cool combo nonetheless another kill kill string that you could do is a new a neutral light into a jump recovery has a few dodge frames but if they don't have their dodge um it is possible to get them up there and hit them uh, and some people will not dodge this anyway, so you have to be careful to see if people are dodging your stuff really well or not. Um, bow is a very, very heavy on re dodge reads and be punishing people for it pretty good. Because if you could, if you get a dodge read, there's a lot of stuff you can do with bow that, like you, like like I said, like if that their dodge read was gone there, that's a true combo. They cannot jump or dodge out of that or anything because their dodge would be gone, uh, and is able to kill him if, if need be same with other moves after downlight side air you know we it just there's a lot of stuff you could do after a dodge read uh on bow and we're gonna go over a little bit more of those right now on what what i look for dodge reads and what i do after a dodge read and such one of the simplest dodge reads i look for is after a side side light i see if they're gonna dodge in or away because a lot of people dodge in or away people do dodge in different directions but side light in Dodging in or away is most common, so let's just say this character will die in, dodge in. I'd first do a side light. I can literally just stand here, or I can dodge away and dash back in. Dash away, dodge back in. 
and then pop like that. Right? And that's there's your there's your string. So wait for him. I'll just wait. If he dashes in or dodges in like that, you just have a side light. Uh so side light and down light is not a true combo, right? You can you can dodge out of a side light down light. Just like that, see? All the time. He didn't have his dodge there. All the time they can dodge out of it. But after a dodge read, they can't jump or dodge out of it. So if they dodge in, they have no more dodge. Boom. He almost dodged right into his ground pound there. So watch him come in. And nothing. But you, you, you see what I'm getting at. And um, also if they're going to dodge away, you can dash in like that. Oops, I changed that. If they're going to dodge away, do like this, dash dash with them, and then you can side light right after. And then if they're, obviously this has not a lot of stage, but uh, if they had more stage to work with, ground pound, something like that. Uh, one thing, if I do have people who dodge away a lot, I do like to do a down air, chase dodge like that. Just like that. That happens a lot in my game so I like to I like to follow their after they hit a down light or a down air follow them like that there's something like that you can follow them there's two ways you can do that obviously dash like that boom or uh, if you're still in the air you can just do a chase dodge towards them and do us do a cider like that followed by followed by a jump down air if they're if they like to spam their jump right if they like to spam their jump you will hit them too like that. You see that? Ooh, yes. Get out of here. If you can hit, but if you can read read any dodge away, in or away, right? If they're dodging in or away, and you can reach that with your side air, you are just going to punish people like just like that all the day, all day. So I did it. Let's say a side air right here. He dodged in the re reversal, and I just did the I just did the uh, side light down light jump side air combo. Right? No problem. All day. They cannot get out of that. And that is true most almost all the time. So just just keep that move. That string is one of your best combo tools uh, for a dodge read. So I do that. You'll see that happen all the time in my games. If you watch my bow gameplay, you'll see that happen quite a bit. Um, so one of so the... I saw you do. I saw. I showed you this, right? That is one of the reads. But one of the other reads I really like to do after a, a side air like this is do a jump, a jump reverse down air. I'm not sure if that that is not the probably the meta way to go, but it's really good to follow up like that. So, oops, that wrong one. Side air. You can chase dodge after the after the down down air like this right here. And do a side light, side air after that. Wow, words are good. So I just found this is a true combo. Not that this is very useful, but a s close side light into a diagonal dodge up left or up and towards down air. Look at that. That is a true combo at low health. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. I never knew that. Uh, too far away though, and it will not be a true combo. You see that because the 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 splash doesn't hit him. But this is also something good to do, even for far away. Even though they can dodge away, but let's say, let's just say we get the dodge read here. It still will hit. So that is something you can do if you want to mix it up a little bit after a dodge read. And do some of these moves even without dodge reads because they're, a lot of these have like one to three frame dodges, which people will just not be able to dodge out of sometimes. I can't tell you how many times I've pulled some of these. And they have not been able to get out of it just because they either don't know the dodges, don't know if their dodge is up. Nutri air is so powerful too, guys. Okay, so just use your nutri air a lot. It's so powerful for a dash jump uh, nair. So do something like that. Just use your use a dash jump nair a lot. It will hit people if they're trying to be around you. It will hit people in the air a lot. You can do a double jump if they're hitting going a little higher. You can even land and hit hit people on the floor. It's just it hits so far around you and it's so quick that it it it's just a good move to use. Do it. Use it all all the time. So one of the things after sidelight, people love to dodge up. And I'm not sure why, but a lot of people dodge up maybe because they're expecting a downlight like this. But when I whenever that happens, I just do a jump neutral or a dash in neutral air. Neutral light. It just hits all the time and it's so good. 
Look at that. You have to be a little patient with it because they are, you know, the dodge is a little slow. But it uh, it hits a lot. Look at that. They dodge up. Just be a little patient with it and use a use a neutralite. Or or the same thing happens. They would do that. You can do a dash jump and light. Now dash jump. Whatever you do a side like this, you wanna you wanna hit down. You don't wanna you wanna dash with down. If you push down like this, you will dash forward. I'm holding down right now and I'm dashing forward. Now instead of hitting to the light, left. So if I do a side light and then do dash and left, I'll do a chase dodge like that. But if I hold do a down if I hold down after side light, I will dash. Okay? So side light, dash, jump, there. Boom. And you'll hit him, okay? So that's a lot of love people people love to dodge up. So use that to your advantage. If you see them, one of the first things you want to do with a bow is side light and see what they do. Just watch them. Side light, see what they do. Side light is a very quick move that will hit them. Hit a lot of people, you're going to use it a lot for starting up. Watch what they do. They can dodge up. You can do one of those one of those two things. They do a lot of dodging up, they will that neutral light, whatever you want to do. If they start dodging away, then you're gonna do, or dodging in, you're gonna do this. Just gotta watch them and then plan accordingly. So one thing I do for aggressing somebody besides the normal down, a lot of people like to do a dash away side light. It hits pretty far, it's very good, trust me, it's very good, use it if you want. Dash away side light, or dash away down light, because down light hits very far, look how far that hits. It, and you can true combo into anything. It's pretty cool, it's very good, but also down light hits so low to the ground that anyone in the air like this will just punish you. Um, but, ooh, look at that. That was a dodge read. One of the other things I like to do is a dash jump down air. Now, be careful with this. Don't use it too often because down air has a lot of end lag. If you miss, you will fall to the ground and probably get punished. But doing that, I could, I could follow up with whatever. That because it's just not a normal starting move that a lot of people use. So get used to doing something like that. They they can also dodge in and dodge away. Same thing if they have low health, higher health they'll get knocked away a little further. But it won't be too crazy because it's against. See how, like like that. Watch this. Watch this. Watch what I could do here. I could do. Uh, he's a dash a little. So let's say he does a uh, a neutral, a neutral dodge right. Boom, hit him in the air, recover, almost dead. He's almost dead. Now this is a bot, obviously, but another neutral dodge, good. And if it, you know, they dodged in, double, good. Look at that, pretty crazy, okay. There's a lot of things you can kind of get up, because when you down air, you're, you're still in the air, so you can chase dodge and follow what they do. Oh, that's another thing I like to do too. Chase dodge towards them after a down air like that, after if I get in the air like this. And then just jump and wait for them to do something, okay? Because you're like on them, so you're pressuring them so hard. You don't know, they don't know what you're going to do. And then they do that, you just, whoop, got them. So you can just watch and see what their, what, what their next plan is, I guess you could say. So as like a, a overview, there's a few ways to aggress somebody and do your thing. Da dash away side light, dash away down light. Uh, dash in down light. Okay, so dash in down light. Look, look how far this hits. Okay, I dashed in from here. It literally hits the guy if he's standing on the other side of the map almost. Uh, those are for people who are running away. Uh, so let's say your opponent is in the middle right here, and you're right here. If you go dash towards him and he dashes away, what you can do is a dash down light, and he will get hit over here. And then obviously a down light into neutral air. True combo. There you go. Down light into side air. There you go. See, you can just. Got to gotta pretend what they're doing. Um, same with side light. Hits very far, so it's very good. Um, but then another the aggressive moves is the uh, dash jump down air for pretty far away hits. You got to be a lot of, a lot more precise with this one, though. And it does hit people who are trying to jump a little a little, little bit, but not a lot. Uh, but you can do that and the dash jump um, nair. Dash jump nair will hit a lot of people. Hits people very well. Uh, one of my favorite combo or like aggressing moves uh, of bow. Bow is a way more aggressive to me than it is than like blasters, uh, because of some things like that. I can just do that, feel more confident without getting hit afterwards. Um, but yeah, there. That's like a few of your ideas to start off with being aggressive and pressuring your opponent that way.
All right, so we're gonna go over a little bit of edge guarding uh, tips. We've gone over some basic combos, some more in string based dodge reads and such. Now let's go over some edge guarding. Now Ed, Bo's edge guarding is pretty solid. Um, I wouldn't say it's no gauntlets or other stuff, but it's pretty good. I one of the better I would say. Um, and one of the reasons is down air like that. Down air is such a long range, hard hitting move that getting hit by this is very scary off stage. Uh, there's a few, so just try to be cautious of where you can hit. It's still like a very precise move, but if you could find that angle, look at that two ang two shots in yellow, it's almost dead. He is a bot though. Oh, another one. Uh, it takes a lot of practice to get used to the angle that you need to have, but once you get it, it's a lot better. Um, but there's some things you could do with this down there. So if your if your opponent is trying to recover to this bottom part of the stage right here, one of the things that I love doing is a uh, something like this. Look at that. Uh, dash off, reverse down air. Okay, like that. It doesn't hit. I guess it won't hit all the way down here, but it'll hit like in this area, pretty good. And once they once you get hit down there. You can, there they'll be knocked down here. You could do another down air, so like dash away down air, down air like that, and they could die. So let's see if we get something like that going on here. There we go. You see, I got the double there. Look at that, even a triple. I expected the guy to dodge, go back to the spot right here, right? So I did a dash away, a dash off, reverse down air like that. Uh, and I just followed up with the more down airs. And then if you miss the down air, so that's a good thing about bow. Down air, you have a side air, which is a lot closer to your body, right? So you can miss the down air and hit a side air like that. Another down, look, and there's a side air. And then he, I probably hit that down air there, but you could just see how one down air can turn into something really bad. Another down air, he wanted to go for that. I missed the, that down air, but if you miss side air, expect a jump. Look at that, almost had it, almost had it, right? Down air, jump side air. I know he was gonna, oop. I knew he was gonna jump there, so I used a uh, side air instead of down air. So down air is a little bit longer range, but side air you can, it's still very, very good of a move. So I suggest using that mo down air and side air off stage most of the time, okay? It's what you're going to probably use the most to knock your person off the stage. Let's actually hit this guy. Get this guy a little less health here so we can do a little more damage to him. This this bot really loves that edge. And the good thing is, is a lot of lower level players like that edge. Okay. So let's just say he's going to dodge out to the right when I hit him. Right, you could just do something like something like that. Expect that it's not going to be as easy with a bot, but you can expect a them to go out the other way if if they like not like going to the wall, because some people don't like to go into the wall, like going somewhere else, and they will. And you could dodge, hit them to the right. Happens all the time. All right. So one thing also, people love to dodge in after getting hit. So let's just say you're going to go off stage. You're going to hit this guy, low health with a down air, like this. One of the things you could do is a jump ground pound right after like this. And a lot of times they will dodge in. It might, they might need a little more health than what I got them at right now, but they will get hit ground pound. Okay. Maybe not always dodge in, but you have to kind of get used to where they might ground pound at because if you do that, they will it ground pound is also insanely powerful. That's why bow is very good. You see right there? See how that guy dodged in? Another ground pound. Easy. Easy win. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, just remember, you have a ground pound as another option, too. Down air. Recovery. Ground pound. See, I missed the ground pound, but that's another thing you could have done. See how I dodged in like that? Oh, that was so clean. That's exactly the way you do it. So, if you're far out like that, if you're far out like that, try to do what I just did right there. Perfect, right there. Okay, we'll go over it. We'll go over it. We'll go over it. Because that is a... What happens 
actually a lot and is a super early kill on Bo, okay? So you see I did a side air. He has low health. Remember, he has to have low health. Side air. He, and then you do a jump ground pound because he will dodge in. So you're in a perfect spot to just ground pound him immediately after the dodge, okay? Ground pound. Boom. He gets shot way down. And now because you're, you can see where I'm at, I'm far away. Now this de depends on how far away you are from the stage. Depends on where they go. So because I am far away from the stage, this bot and uh, many, many other people want to go straight to the stage. So you can see how the bot is going to the left to the stage. I do immediate fall down air. And sometimes it kills people. Sometimes it just gets them into a position where they're probably going to die. Just a crazy amount of stuff that could happen right there. So remember to try to do that. Try to learn that. It's not going to... It's not a... You know, guaranteed do anything because I can see like a mist right there. Not gonna happen. It doesn't happen all the time, but it does happen sometimes. Yeah. So there you go. There's a bunch of there is a bunch of edge guarding ideas for you guys. Um, try to get used to it. It got you know if you guys got ideas in the comments or of things I missed that are very common, hit me up. Let me know. Let the other people know. This is for knowledge for people who want to play bow. So if in the comments if you have more ideas, like I said, put them in the comments. I'll pin them. I'll, no, I'll like them so that people can see it and so on and so forth. So if you guys enjoyed this bow guide tips video, let me know in the comments. Like the video if you would please. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the bell for notifications for more videos uh, coming soon. And just thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.